Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting down with Fabian Conus of Matago Games. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm, every year we get to yeah. have a wonderful meeting at this table exactly. and Always look at something awesome. And this year you've got it's Innis. Innis. Oh, actually, I should say Inish. Apparently, an Irish guy told me we should pronounce this Inish. <laughs> so let's say Inish, okay? And uh, Inish is our latest game in uh, in our XL collection, so big games where we have Cyclades, uh, Kemet, and now we have uh, Inish. Um, Cyclades was about the Greek mythology, uh, Kemet was about uh, Egyptian gods, and now this yes. one is about uh, Celtic mythology, so Irish mythology. So big, actually, I'm going to move the box yep. so we can take a look at what's inside. Yep. So. Um, this game is about um, becoming the king of the Irish lands. And uh, so you are uh, the head of a tribe. Uh, a tribe is basically a, a color here. And uh, your tribe is made of several clans. And you have these different territories. And actually, the board will expand as the game progresses because you can add more territories to, uh, to the board. Which kudos on the spectacularly dynamic yeah. territory edges well, there. It looks good, <laughs> but also very useful if you have to move ah. the board uh, around because it sticks together, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like you did that on purpose yeah. or something. <laughs> um, and so the goal of the game is to, um, to have more victory conditions than any other players at the beginning of run round. And there are actually three possible victory conditions. The first one is uh, very obvious, is to be present in six territories. At the beginning of the game it's not possible. But as, <laughs> yeah, exactly, but as the game progresses you will be able to do that. Second possibility is uh, to be present next to six sanctuaries. So there's uh, little um, uh, miniatures here, uh, sanctuaries. And if you are sitting next to six sanctuaries, that's a victory condition. Uh, you can actually have several sanctuaries in one territory. That's not a problem. Uh, and the last condition is to be the chieftain of six clans. So to be the chieftain in a territory means to be to, to have the majority. So here, for example, green has a majority over orange. Here, white has a majority over the the um. other. So here, white would be the chieftain of three clans. He would be the chieftain of two clans here, of one clan here. So chieftain of six clans is a victory condition. And if at the beginning of a round you have more than any other uh, players, you win the game. So six is definitely the magic number to exactly. win this game. Exactly, it is the magic number. The way the game plays is you are going to use these uh, green cards, uh, um, action cards. Um, there are 17 of them uh, when you play with four players. And what you'll do, you'll uh, at the beginning of the round, you'll set one aside, uh, shuffle them, distribute them to uh, each player, and then you will do a draft. Um, so basically, I have four cards, I select one and pass the rest uh, around. And it's a little bit different than a, a usual draft like you would have in Seven Wonders, because if I get three cards back, then I will take all four cards in my hand and I just have to keep two. So the card that I previously kept, you I can actually decide to, to pass it because I, there is a better combo in the next card. So. And so at the end of the draft, each player will have uh, four cards. And then uh, each card, is, the cards actually tell you which actions you can do. So there are cards to move, there are cards to uh, reinforce, uh, for reinforcements, to, to add, add more clans to the board. There are cards to, um, to uh, expand, add, add more territories. There are cards also that let you draw uh, another type of cards that I have here, the red cards, which are the epic tales. And epic tales. Either way, I'm yeah. going to move some of our clansmen just yeah. so we highlight some of the artwork that you guys have because you have pretty spectacular uh, Celtic style art. So, yeah, the, the artwork was done by Jim Fitzpatrick, who is a very well known um, graphic designer or illustrator who did uh, a lot of work on, on Celtic mythology. He's also the one who uh, drew the uh, very well known Che Guevara uh, face that everybody knows about. So he's a very, very famous uh, uh, illustrator uh, and especially known for Celtic mythology. And so, yeah, I was saying these uh, red cards are epic tales and these are cards that you can use only once, it's a one shot, but they are very, very powerful and they, they can be very game changing. Right, I can see how removing a clan might then give you majority. And exactly. if that goes from five to six, boom, you win. Exactly, that, that's the, the whole point. So again, all the, all the game works with these 
17 cards and each round you will actually draft always the same 17 cards except for the one that is set aside so uh, as the game progresses you will figure out what the interesting combos are and the draft becomes very very interesting the other interesting thing is that since you're drafting you kind of know exactly what the other players have right. so you know what they can do there is a card here that will cancel one of uh, the other players action so when you know that this card has not been played yet then you want to be careful and you you kind of wait and then when the card comes out then you're safe and you know that you can perform your action so <laughs> it's a very deeply strategic game very engaging uh, uh, and yeah um, one thing I should also say I uh, mentioned is um, there is a combat in, in this game so you can have battles but uh, the way it works is uh, very um, very different from uh, other games like for example Kemet or, or Cyclades because uh, what will happen if is um, Let's imagine I have a situation like this, and the green player moves, moves in here. There is a clash that will occur, but actually the green player can say, yeah, I come in peace. I don't want to fight you guys, you know? <laughs> I, I, I'm just moving here because there are two sanctuaries, basically, or whatever. And if the other player accepts the, the, the peace, then no battle occurs, you know? Uh, so it could be advantageous because in this case, the green player, if, if you start a battle, he might likely win because he's three against two. So this guy will lose the two sanctuaries. So it might be in his advantage to say, yeah, okay, I accept the peace and we'll won't fight. If you do fight, then on your turn, you'll, the green player will say, okay, uh, then I attack you. And you the, the other player has two possibilities. Either he loses a clan or he actually discards one of the green cards, which are very important. So it's, uh, it's a decision, decision uh, that has to be made. And um, the battle continues until either the players agree on the peace or if one player is completely removed from the, from the territory. And so, yeah, the game progresses like this until one player has more uh, victory conditions than the others. Um, the other thing I should say is that um, the turn order will actually be decided at the beginning of each round. So you have this um, uh, um, uh, crow, crow's to token. So the first player will take it, flip it, <laughs> and it will tell you, okay, for this round we'll go this way. Ah, if it's round, yeah, if it's on the other way, it, yeah, exactly, clockwise, counterclockwise, for the draft, but also for the turn order. And um, the last thing is the citadels that we have here, this little building. So if we start a battle before the battle begins, so let's say green is the invader, this one can actually go and hide oh. in a citadel. <laughs> so now he will not take part uh, in the battle. So you will do the fight between these two. At the end of the fight, this one will just step out and he's safe, basically. And so, yeah, very clever game, very strategic. Uh, very easy to, to learn, the, the rules are very easy, the cards are a bit uh, tricky to understand, but after one round you exactly know what, what happens, because it's always the same cards, and uh, yeah, pretty uh, awesome I was gonna game. Say, I'm really, I, I like the arc that your, your large game series mm -hmm. is taking, and particularly all that ranging through the different classical mythology, yeah. so I think this is a fantastic addition to your Thank lineup, you. and I appreciate you taking a few minutes yeah, to give us no a look. Problem. So if you guys want to check that out, that is Inish yeah. by Amatigo Games, and Fabian, thank you so much. Thank you very much.